Alright then players, welcome to uh, Rage Master's channel, you should be able to see me in the top left. You'll be playing Space Engineers today, I'm going to be demoing out uh, one new creation, which is called the Mammoth Mobile Base, inspired by the Mammoth Tank from Commander Conquer. Uh, sun is rising just over the back of it, we're going to be doing a few driving tests, still in early, uh, early stages of development. Um, I just thought I'd bring you in at this point, so you could take a look. Uh, so basically, it's going to be a mobile base on wheels. Um, the track units, there's four of them, and each one of them has got ten large wheels. And uh, Each one of these track units articulate on a hinge, just about there. Uh, that, gives the, that gives the whole craft a bit more stability when it goes over uh, bumps and uh, up hills and what have you. I'll demonstrate that soon. Uh, obviously you can see there's enough volume on the inside between the tracks to mount everything you might want in a mobile base including plenty of space for storage of small grid craft um, hopefully I'm going to get some sort of ramp design so I can deposit like ground craft onto the floor and uh, lift them back up into the craft propulsion's based on atmospheric thrusters um, the, the wheels themselves are, are unpowered uh, they're literally there just to space the vehicle off from the floor and prevent damage and uh, the turning is provided by this massive array of gyros right here the upper framework literally is just a placeholder for the for the actual base itself um, with these complicated sort of proof of concept works really you want to nail down the complicated bits first in this case it was the track units um, I started by uh, developing a single track unit and then copy and pasted it um, once I was happy with the design to all four corners um, onto a framework and off the frame I've come off with this, uh, this utility armature I've called um, which is literally a turret with two axes control and um, four tools so we've got grinders, welders, drills and the grapple piston for picking things up off the floor like small grids I've also got these little landing gears on each side of the tracks left and right so if you do pick something up and want to take it with you just pop it on the side of the track and uh, drive off with it and work on it later so first thing I want to do is bring in uh, G-Pod 360 which is my favoured atmospheric uh, scout craft if you want me to tell you a little bit about this craft designed to be as small as possible, as lightweight as possible and. Um, the cool thing about this is it's probably the design with the least amount of blocks which has got full 360 degree coverage with two, uh, two uh, Gatling turrets. So the idea is you can basically move this to wherever you want and if there's an enemy within range it's going to start firing. It's battery powered and you've got a connector on the back. Um, the idea, or at least one usage for it, is if you've got any spare external connectors on your large ship designs you can rock on up to one of those connectors in this dock it and uh, literally turn turn this into a modular uh, gun turret for your large grids which will feed off the, the ammunition supply in your large grid you do have to control it through a remote so that's because of the passenger seat that's used on the front and there we go so then we'll do a th full 360 view for you guys As I say, pretty early in development, um, most of my efforts have been testing uh, a stable wheelbase design. We're going to see if we can turn it 180 and drive up to the top of this mountain right here. That should be a good test of the, uh, the capabilities. But before that, I'm just going to demonstrate how uh, this turret works. So, it's pretty simple. Let's go into the Mammoth Tanks remote. We'll take the right util arm remote. Control that. You can see you've got uh, one axis. You've got another axis right there. And uh, the whole idea is you can work on something without actually having to leave your base or transfer to another vehicle. Um, so if you're working on large um, bases uh, in the middle of nowhere, uh, you can build it directly from your mobile base. So. Let's extend out to demonstrate some of the functions here. Is obviously, you can extend the, the four stack of pistons to reach out really far in front of you. Let's see if we can push this craft along. It's 
see, I've just grappled onto uh, my little ship. Pretty self explanatory stuff, really. I'm going to disconnect there. Retract that back. Get this little craft out of the way. Let's do some driving tests. <laughs> Eventually, need a, more gyros to uh, to reliably uh, turn this some speed. Might just add some more on right now. There we go. Yeah, that's much easier there. To the 180, aiming at that valley that's just lining up there. So forward thrust engaged on the flat ground. You can take this all the way up to about 70 ms. As long as you don't hit anything with the front tracks, all good. Do a bit of speed actually. There you go, 70 ms coming up. Consider how big the craft is. I mean, it doesn't look like it's moving too fast because of the size. 70 ms it is pretty fast for this thing. Doing pretty well so far. The main issue with this is um, trees. Uh, vicious to this kind of design. It's an issue with wheels. Bad things happen. I'm going to slow down the speed here because I'm a little bit unstable. Also, the wheels tend to fall off in sets of 40. Whenever one f falls off, sometimes for some sort, it does seem like a bug from Keen, but sometimes like all 40 wheels will fall off if one falls off. Nothing I can really do about that. Hopefully, Keen will fix it at some point. Well, we're winning here. It's a bit tight, it's a bit narrow. Just gonna make it though. I've got faith. Faith. You can see how the tracks are sort of the hinge system sort of allows more wheels to make contact with the ground as you route rolling on. I mean, if it was all just fixed onto one grid, uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't get. You won't get that kind of stability that you've got with this sort of design. So yeah, it's a concept build to prove that 
you know, large mobile bases are possible. Uh, this is kind of working out. Just to miss that tree there, going through the central. Pretty big rough patch to get up there. They're gonna handle it. Yeah, no problems, no problems. Alright, so the idea is for me to continue on this build like oh there we go, smash. Maybe a bit too quick. Maybe I could refine the design of the back wheels a little bit more. Centralise the hinge maybe. Get rid of that. So yeah, driving care must be taken. With any luck, come release. Keen on to sort out the, uh, the issues with the wheels, and hopefully I'll have come up with a slightly better design, which is how I'm going to overcome this. The problem I've got is that I've got the rear wheels facing backwards. Like I mean, it did look it's better for forward motion. Maybe I should spin this entire rig round 180. Uh, might end up being better. Yeah, that's, uh, that's as far as I've got with it so far. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, just give me a like, give me a subscribe. If you do subscribe, you'll you'll uh, be notified of all my future vids as soon as they're released. Uh, that's basically it. Range Master checking out for now. Hopefully, I'll have an update video on this build in the future. Bye, guys.